What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Paddock, and today we are going to talk about what causes squawks and squeaks on the saxophone. One of the questions that I'm asked the most often is, why does my saxophone squeak when I go from C to D on the saxophone? So today I thought I would do uh, a video explaining a lot of the reasons for your squawks and squeaks. Now, of course, there are tons of different reasons for squawks and squeaks, but today I'm just going to hit some of the most common ones uh, and I'm going to tell you how to fix them and make it so that you're, like, you're less likely to squawk and squeak. But playing the saxophone, you are definitely going to squeak every now and then. It happens to all of us. Okay, so let's start with the very first thing that I talked about. I'm asked about why the, the C to the D squawks and squeaks a lot. And the reason for that is almost always that you're going from one finger, which is your C, to all of your fingers, which is D, or one, two, three, one, two, three, and one of the fingers is coming down slow. So it might be this one, it might be this one, just a finger is not coming down at the same time. So when you're doing that, when you're going from that C to D and all your fingers don't come down at the same time, you're definitely gonna get some kind of squawk. It's gonna sound like this. So what I'm doing there is my G key is coming down late. Watch this finger right here. And what happens is it makes your saxophone go crazy because the air wants to go all the way through, but when this finger opens up and lets the air out early, your saxophone rebels and it squawks and squeaks. So when you are going from a C to a D and you squawk or squeak, chances are your fingers are not really clean. Without your fingers really clean? So you can hear me recreate it uh, very easily and that is because it's a very simple problem to fix. All it is is getting your fingers working very evenly and clean together. Now, I explain that on a C to a D, but that can be on any note. When you're going from one note to the next note, if your fingers are not clean, you're gonna squawk and squeak. Uh, and you're gonna, it's more commonly gonna happen when you go from few fingers to a lot of fingers, but it could happen anywhere. If your fingers don't go down at the right time, you are gonna squawk and squeak. Another common reason that causes squawks and squeaks on the saxophone is incorrect tonguing. If your tongue is not in the correct position, you are way more likely to squawk and squeak. Now, I did an entire video on tongue position and how to tongue, so I definitely figure, I definitely suggest checking that video out. Um, I'm not going to go on all, into all of the specifics here, but I will give you a few examples. Uh, but if, you, if your problem is your tongue position, definitely check out the videos that I've already done. Okay, so this is what it sounds like when your tongue is in the wrong position. <laughs> If you ever get that sound or this sound, your sound is all wavy and honky and squealy. That means your tongue is in the wrong position. Uh, there are three basic tongue positions. When you're playing low notes, it's down in the aw position, like you're trying to talk low like this. Uh, for the middle of your saxophone, where you don't usually squawk that much because of tongue position, is A, where your tongue is flat, and um, for your high notes, you're in the E position. So if you try to play a low note while your tongue is up in the E position, you're gonna get this. Because your tongue is in the wrong position and the air is not hitting the saxophone in the correct way. If you are in the, if you're trying to play high note and you're in the ah position, so in other words, I'm gonna try to play a high D, but I'm gonna get my tongue down in the, in the ah position. It just sounds really bad because the air is not going into the saxophone correctly. So the second reason that you might be squawking or squeaking is your tongue is not in the right position. Now another tongue problem is not tonguing correctly. Again, I did an entire video on how to tongue. I definitely suggest checking that one out. But if you're tonguing incorrectly, you're gonna get those kinds of sounds because you're, again, your air is not getting into your saxophone correctly. You want your tongue to be in the right position, uh, and if your tongue is in the right position, you are not gonna squeak or squawk anymore. So when you hear a squawk or a squeak, think, are my fingers coming down together? If yes, then is my tongue in the correct position? If that's correct, then it might be your third problem. The third problem is a combination of the two your fingers and your tongue not lining up. Usually that means that you're tonguing a little bit before your fingers get to the right spot, and that causes a definite squawk, a definite squawk or squeak. Mm -hmm. 
So with that, I'm tonguing before I get, I'm going to play in a B to an E. The E is the high note. And before I get to the E, I'm tonguing a little bit before I get to that E. And it's causing that squawk and squeak because my tongue is hitting when my fingers are transitioning. transitioning. So you want to make sure that your fingers and your tongue are lining up. So you can hear how easy it is for me to transition between the two. Uh, all that is is keeping your fingers and your tongue really, really clean. So you'll notice almost all of the squeaking and squawking problems that we've had, that we've talked about, are either your tongue not lining up correctly or being in the right position or not lining up with your fingers. So as long as your fingers are clean and your tonguing is clean, you're not gonna squeak that often. But again, it is a saxophone, so no matter how hard you practice, there's always gonna be a squawk or a squeak somewhere. Okay, so those are the technique reasons why you might squawk or squeak. Technique meaning like the way you're using your fingers or your tongue, but there are definitely some other causes for squawks and squeaks that are related to your gear. If your gear is not right, your gear meaning like your mouthpiece, your ligature, your reed, your saxophone, all that stuff, if that is not correct, that's also gonna cause a lot of squawks and squeaks. So let's talk about the reed first. I did an entire video on reed placement. I definitely suggest checking that out, but if you do not have your reed in the right place, if it's too low or especially too high, if it's too low, usually it's just gonna be really difficult to play. You're not gonna squawk and squeak as much. Your tone is just gonna be a little bit off. But when it's up too high, that's squawk and squeak city because you're cut, closing that reed off before it should be closed off because it's up too high. So check your reed. Make sure there's a thin black line at the top of your reed uh, where you see your mouthpiece and your reed placement will be good. Or check out the video I did on reed placement. This is what your reed should look like. See how there's a thin black line at the very tip of it? That's what you want your reed to look like. Another gear related reason that might cause squawks and squeaks is if you have on the wrong mouthpiece. If you are a beginner to intermediate, you should be using a beginner to intermediate mouthpiece, not a super high-end professional mouthpiece because the super high-end professional mouthpieces do exactly what you tell them to do. They're kind of like race cars. So you're gonna drive your race car different than you're gonna drive a Toyota Camry. So if you have a super high-end mouthpiece on and you're not a super high-end player, uh, chances are that is causing your squawks and squeaks. So try a Meyer 5M or some kind of other uh, mid-range mouthpiece and see if that works for you for that, and if that gets rid of the squawks and squeaks. And last but not least, it could of course mean that your saxophone needs to go to the shop. I took my saxophone to my repairman, Jeff Denning, today because I had this crazy problem where my D sharp was way out of tune, which I never really have big problems with intonation. And all of a sudden my D sharp was crazy. And it turned out that my F key right here was blowing open when I was playing. It was a little leak. And then when I would blow a lot of air through my saxophone, it was blowing open more, causing a lot of, uh, wreaking a lot of havoc on my saxophone and making my D sharp out of tune. So if you're getting a lot of squawks and squeaks and you're doing everything else correct, it could mean that it's time for you to take your horn into the repair shop. So those are most of the reasons why you might squawk or squeak. Assuming your gear is all correct and in good playing condition, the majority of the problems are gonna be tongue and fingers related or your tongue and your fingers lining up. So if you're going to two notes, like say you squawk on a, or you squeak on a D a lot of times, figure out what's going on with the D, Fig figure out which finger is slow. And then when you're playing a song that has that D, think about the finger that's slow before you play the D. That's gonna help a lot. Uh, if you keep squeaking in the same place in a song, chances are it's the transition between two notes. So figure out what's going on with that transition. Is your tongue getting there early? Are your tongue and your fingers not lining up? There's gonna be some like little tweak in there uh, that's letting the air uh, leak out before it should leak out, or it's stopping the air before the air should be stopped, and it's causing a squawk and a squeak. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video and I hope it helps you squawk and squeak less. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks a lot.